Hey folks, Ira here. Hope you've had a great Thursday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is April the 28th, 2016. Today is known as International Astronomy and Great Poetry Day. Okay? All right, Earthquake Report time. Here we go. As of 6.16 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in only 172 earthquakes. A year ago today, we experienced 369. The strongest to strike the planet then was a 6.1 that hit the Nadoi Island in Fiji. This brings our weekly total to 1,182 and our monthly total to 8,170. The majority of today's more interesting earthquakes fell along the Ring of Fire. However, there are some exceptions. We experienced a 5.0, which was later downgraded to a 4.3, that struck our allies in France. According to the Central French Seismic Office, this was the strongest quake to hit mainland France since April 2014. This marks the third earthquake to strike this region this month, as we experienced a 3.9 on the 25th and a 4.8 that hit on April the 4th. Finally, Afghanistan, care of the Eurasian plate, experienced a 4.4. The strongest to strike Earth today was a 7.3 that was later revised to a 7.0 that hit Vanuatu. Fortunately, no injuries, deaths, or destruction of property have been reported. Also, the threat of tsunamis and tidal waves have passed. First-hand accounts and a video have been streaming in from the area. Citizens there have stated that this was, for the most part, incredibly minor, even with a fairly shallow depth of only 17 miles. Isn't that interesting? By the way, we'll have a video from Vanuatu during the earthquake at the end of this report. The second most intense to strike the planet was a 5.6 that hit Papua New Guinea. We have had 12 earthquakes to fall within the magnitude 4 scale, a 4.8 and a 4.5 in Japan, a 4.6 and a 4.5 that rattled the Philippines, Bolivia experienced a 4.5 as well, our good friends in Tennant Creek, Australia clocked in a 4.4, Argentina with a 4.5, and Chile with two 4.1s and a 3.9. If we look to the states, we see that Hawaii has registered two, a 2.2 that hit Captain Cook, and a 1.6 in Hanoka. Alaska has clocked in only 27 for the day. No swarms have been identified at this point in time. The strongest to hit the last frontier state was a 3.5 in Cheatnik Lake. We've noticed that when we experience larger earthquakes like that of which hit Vanuatu today, we generally see a reduction in seismic activity on the west coast. This is true for Alaska and California. However, this does not ring true for Washington. You can normally count on increased activity in the Evergreen State. This was definitely the case today, where we have registered 22 thus far. The earthquake swarm was centered in Packwood and Amboy. In fact, 68% originated from Packwood. The strongest there being a 1.3. 18% originated from Amboy, with the most intense there being a 1.2. The strongest that hit the state today was a 2.0 in Carnation. Oregon experienced 6 today. The average magnitude was a 1.3, 3 of which struck Lakeview, and 3 in Silver Lake. The most intense was a 1.8. California has 58 on the books. This falls in line with our previous statement around the reduction of seismic activity in California when intense earthquakes normally greater than a magnitude 6 are experienced. The strongest to strike was a 2.6 in Greenville. No unusual swarms have been identified at this time. Nevada has experienced 21. None of the earthquakes that struck were potent. In fact, the average magnitude is sitting at a 0.6. The strongest earthquake was a 1.5 in Beatty. Wyoming, per the USGS, has registered two earthquakes today. A 1.2 in Hobok and a 1.6 in Du Bois. Montana has experienced only four, all of which were incredibly minor, the most intense being a 0.9 in Dillon. Our pals in Oklahoma experienced only two today. These were a 2.6 in Yale and a magnitude 3 in Perry. The New Madrid seismic zone continues to experience movement, this time around with a 1.3 in Ridgely, Tennessee. Finally, we registered an interesting earthquake in New York, this was a 1.2 that hit Hananawa. The last earthquake to strike this area was nearly a year ago. Hmm. 
This is shaped up to be a rather interesting week. As it stands now, we have the 7.0 today in Vanuatu, 21 earthquakes have fallen within the magnitude 5 scale, and 73 magnitude 4s have been experienced. Each day definitely brings with it a bit of uncertainty and anticipation. We have said it before, and we'll say it now. These are indeed interesting times. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe. Share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video displaying the powerful effects of today's 7.3 earthquake in Vanuatu. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah!